Outlook users, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to look at creating a shared calendar. So I'm here in Outlook and I'm going to navigate to Calendar. And up here at the top, I'm going to click the green plus where it says Open Calendar. And I'm going to create a new blank calendar. And I'm going to call this Shared Learning Opportunities. Of course, you can name it whatever you need to name it. And here from this drop down menu, the calendar items itself is fine. So you want to leave that selected. That is the default, so just don't change it. Down here under Select Where to Place the Folder, just leave Calendar selected. That again is the default and you should leave it alone. So now we're going to click OK and you'll see over here under My Calendars, I now have a new calendar called Shared Learning Opportunities. So if I click on it and then right click on it, I can select to share it and then to email the calendar. A little window will appear here and it's going to list some options for me. However, all of these options are fine the way they are unless you don't want the people that you're sharing this with to have the full details of the calendar. And then you can select one of these other options here. This one's fine for me, so I'm going to click OK. And then another window appears asking if the calendar shared learning opportunities that does not contain any appointments is the one I'm wanting to share. And I'm going to click Yes. And then I can proceed just like I do with any email. So for instance, I might want to share this with Shanna or maybe Kyle, and then I would click to send. Once I've done that, I can then select the permissions for this calendar so I can decide how that person is going to get to contribute or possibly not contribute to this calendar. So here at the top, I'm going to click Calendar Permissions, and then I'm going to select Shanna's name from the permissions list. Down here, I can set her permission level to an owner, editor, publishing editor, etc. If you want that person to be able to add and edit any event on the calendar, you want to select either owner or publishing editor. If you want them to have all the same permissions that you have, you definitely want to select owner. So then you'll notice all of this changes automatically and you can click to apply and then you can click OK. And so now Shanna has the same options that I do with the shared learning opportunities calendar and we can both add and remove or edit events from that calendar as needed. As always, if you have questions or need additional assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.